Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. I really wasn't planning on unopening this and getting into this video tonight, but this is an important item right here, and there's some really bad weather coming, and it's just going to keep coming. Better get into it, better get it ready, because you'll see what this is. Well, I'm sure by the title of the video, you have an idea. So this is by Ace Volt, and it's called the Camp Power 2000. It is a portable power station. Right now, here in Southeast Louisiana, we are in hurricane season, and it's beginning to ramp up here in late July, and throughout August and September, we're gonna have a lot of potential for bad weather. And also right now in 2022, gas is still very expensive. One of the things that we would normally do down here is have a gas powered or diesel powered generator on hand. I have a lot of friends that do and you know, I have a friend who is going to let me use one of his, but I don't have to worry so much about it now because Ace Volt sent this to me to review now this isn't gonna run my AC it's not gonna run my refrigerator though however it will run my refrigerator but for just a little bit it would be better for a smaller cooler because it's only a 2,000 watt power station let's get it out of here it is kind of heavy let's get that out of the way now it will run a small cooler on their website. They'll tell you what it can do and how long it'll do it. Let's see, there should be, there we go. Here's some stuff here. Here's the, comes with that. That'll tell you all about it right there. Now you can charge this different ways. You can charge it the wall outlet, you can charge it from the car, the lighter outlet, or a solar panel. That's why it's such a good idea to have one of these on hand in case you can't afford gas, or you can't get to gas. Now, they didn't send the solar panel with this. I would like to review their solar panel. It takes about five hours to charge this up on the solar panel, about two hours to charge it up on the wall outlet and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do if I can figure out where to plug that in give us just a sec and we'll do that this is about 18 pounds so it's not super light it's not super heavy we got on one side input and on the other output let's show that to you on this side we have the output look how many outlets now these things are really good for charging up batteries such as your cell phone your laptop even the bike even the uh, e-bikes and on this side here we've got oh it is kind of heavy this table has a bit, bit of a tilt to it here we got the input I'll just go ahead and get that plugged in now let's look at the front as you see there it says ace vault now there are a lot of USB places to plug in to charge phones and stuff. You can get like 154 charges on an iPhone here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't have the iPhone yet, but maybe soon. There's a, I think it's like 13, 16 different things. Now these power stations are good for that, for charging your phone up, uh, running lights, things like that. You can cook with this, you can get, what is it? Um, a hundred and something. Let me look. There's like a toaster oven thing. We're doing the boomer thing here. Just showing you my laptop. All right. So it's right now at $16.99. We're going to move our screen down. Satisfy all your off grid needs. 154 charges for your phone. 31 charges for your MacBook. 42 charges for a drone. Don't know what CPAP is, but you can get 33 hours 
you can get 28 hours on a mini cooler, a 60 watt mini cooler, not a full size refrigerator. Look at this, you can get a 18 pots for a coffee maker. You can get 50 to 70 slices for toast, 72 minutes on the electric kettle, 66 minutes for the hair dryer. I don't use a hair dryer, so I'm good to go. 102 minutes for an electric grill, 102 minutes for a microwave, 204 minutes for the blender, so you can not go without smoothies for 204 minutes. Always safety first, huh? Let me get these things off here. There we go, all in one. All right, let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. You hear it? Making noise, look at that. Oh yeah, it's starting to charge. We're listening right now. Don't hear anything. Very, very quiet. I will monitor this for a bit, see if it gets hot and all that. They say that it's totally safe when you're charging it. And what's really cool about this particular power station is that you can charge it while you're using it. Say like, for some people that doesn't make sense. Like why would you need to use a power station when you have it plugged into the wall? Why don't you just use the power out of the wall? No, it's for like if you're using a solar panel. That's where this makes a lot of sense and is a cool thing. So you have no power in the house because of whatever or wherever you're at, like say you're at camp and there's no power, you have your solar panels out. Solar panels are charging it up as you're using it. Say you're charging your phone through the power station and the power station is getting charged through the sun, all simultaneous, uninterrupted. Like I could be working on my laptop, keeping the laptop charged up while I'm charging the power station up and it's not going to affect my data or any anything. So that is really cool. Let's just let it do its thing and see if it takes two hours. We have not been charging for very long and look at that. It says we got 73 minutes left. We're at 37% and that's what our input is. And look, as I'm using the power, it'll tell me what my output is, how much battery I got left. I really can't stress enough how much of a good idea it is to have a power station, especially like the Ace Volt Camp Power 2000, especially down here because of hurricane season. Power could go out anytime, even with a real bad thunderstorm, it could go out and you're going to need something. You're going to need lights. You can run lights with that. You're going to need to keep your phone charged. You can do it with that don't have to run over to your friend's house so much or you know some other place and sit there like in the past I would have to go to a grocery store and just like sit there or wait for the next chance to plug in because someone already is there plugged in and someone's already there in line and so forth and so on yeah but for me personally there's more that I can use this for especially you know camping sure but just in general for fishing, that means I can run like a ring light <laughs> or other lights while I'm fishing to make my night videos much more interesting. And that is what we're going to do in the next video actually is take this out somewhere and run lights so we can get a good video. But in this video, we're just going to charge it up. I think that is really cool how much battery I get and how many things I can charge. And it only takes a little over an hour to charge it up. Now, with the solar panel, it's about five hours in direct sunlight. Or probably not even direct. You know, you need direct sunlight, but you can probably finish the charge with indirect too. Yeah, you're right, guys. Is it two hours yet? 73 minutes, I guess. Is, is that what it said? Yep. Nope. I'm not talking for 73 minutes. Are you done yet? 40%. 71 minutes now. I'm looking forward to using this to run the fan when we're out of power because of a hurricane so I can sleep at night. I think it'll run the fan pretty good. But I need to get a solar panel. Hint, hint, Ace Volt. Here we go. It's already charged up and ready to go. That's just kind of warm. It's not hot at all. If you listen quietly, you can hear the fan that's keeping it nice and cool. 
that is cool that it's not overheating. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. And there we go. If you look here, it says discharge remaining 99 hours. So like I said, the plan is to use this to run some lights in a few days for a fishing video, a night video. So, but in the meantime, I'm just going to keep it charged. I'm gonna store it somewhere because I might need it. I just thought I would just go ahead and get into this video and talk about this thing. I am not getting paid to talk about it. It was sent to me for free to review, which big thanks to the people over at Ace Volt for sending this to me because I can really use it. And if you live anywhere where hurricanes happen, I bet you could use one too. Or if you go camping a lot, or you know, just with how things can be unstable these days, power goes out, you don't know when it's gonna come back on. It's good to have something like this. It doesn't take gas. You just plug it into the wall, charge it up, or like I said, they do have a solar panel. It would be nice if I had a solar panel to accompany this or the car anything like that you know just keep it charged up and run stuff when the power is not there yeah you're right guys thanks for watching liking sharing subscribing and there is a link down in the description if you want to check this out and i'll see you next time